Shoot him! Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, boys! Watch out now, watch out dogs, you lazy dogs. Move it now. Move it, boy, come on. Yeah, what up y'all and welcome back to another one. Stop, good golf cart. By the way, we need to name a golf cart. Y'all need to drop a comment down below. Let's name this golf cart. Boy, howdy Frederick, we finally got a good day. It is lovely out. I think it's sitting right out about 69 degrees. I really don't even need this hoodie on. It is probably actually over 70 degrees. It is absolutely gorgeous. Spring is here, y'all. Spring's here. The snow goose hunt for me has been long gone. I've been holding on to this video, hoping that I was gonna get another one, but this video, in fact, it's windy, let's go inside. But like I was saying, this is in fact the last waterfowl hunt that I did for uh, this last season. It's a sad, sad video but a great one because it was a really good snow goose hunt with my boys Wing Chaser Outdoors. You all know the deal. They put on a great show for us. Tons of decoys. Let me tell you what, the spread was huge. Y'all will see it in a minute. But first and foremost, this video is sponsored by Primal Urge Foods. Now, I don't know if y'all have seen this before, but this is a box of beef jerky, custom beef jerky. Let me, let me show you what's going on here. Check this out. How awesome is this? So, uh, me and the kids sat around and ate a whole box the other night. This is smoked garlic parmesan smoked chicken. Uh, there's a bunch of different stuff. Meat snack, smoked venison and pork. Check this out, this is smoked elk. There's a literally everything in here. Pineapple pork, snack stick, check that out. I'm telling you what, these are so tasty. There's a little bit of everything. There's even an alligator one in here somewhere. I probably ate it, to be quite honest with you. What's this one? Jalapeno flavor pork snack stick. Literally everything. I demolished a box by myself. They sent me like three different ones. This is another jalapeno uh, beef stick. All kinds of awesome stuff. In this little box that you can sign up for to receive once a month. Now. Primal Urge Foods is giving y'all one heck of a deal. You can use code BGSAVE25 right here, all caps, guys. Use it at checkout for 25% off your first box. Now, this 25% off code is good through July 31st of this year. So, you have plenty of time to buy one, guys. But I'm telling you what, to have these bad boys on the go in your truck, there's just an array of snacks. I'm telling you what, what's this one? Uh, sweet wood, smokehouse, fatty teriyaki smoked meat stick. Check that big old boy out. I'm telling you what, if you want some snacks on the go, it does me a lot of good when I'm out scouting. I have them in my trucks, just ready to go. When I get hangry, Bobby gets just that, hangry, I'm telling you. But if you want to pick it up, if you want to save 25% off on your first box, I will link it all down in the description below. Again, big shout out to Primal Urge Foods for sponsoring this here video. Awesome companies just like them keep us going over here. Thank you, Primal Urge Foods. I appreciate you. Oh, stretch it out. Stretch oh, it out. We're old. So tight. I know. We're old, huh? A little bit. Jordan, Wade, we're out here today. We are two hours west of home. Yes, we drove here in the morning. We had to leave home at roughly 3.50 in the a.m. But we're out here with Wing Chaser today. We're in some itty bitty little town. You can tell by the old fuel pumps. If you know where I'm at, drop a comment down below. But we're out here with my buddies at Wing Chaser Outfitters and they are putting us on a massive snow goose feed today. Uh, we're hunting like a 50K white feed today. It's massive. And a little surprise, there are four guys, they have four clients in that are actually subscribers and fans of the channel. Long story short, I put them out there. I'm like, hey, if you guys wanna come hunt with me and Wing Chasers, come and book these dates. They did, so they're there. But long story short, no Fred today. This is the first hunt in months that Fred hasn't been on. And the reason is it's a really big hunt, a lot of guns and the guide service, they have their own dogs. So me and Wade were like, you know, Let's just load the guns, load the tube, dump the tube, and then just do it again with no dogs and just have fun and shoot. Fred kind of, told me he got a day off, like 
PTO or something he like that. He didn't want a day off. Uh, he was whining when I left the house. Uh oh. He ain't gonna be happy with me. Well, we're out here and the boys set an absolute gargantuan 60 dozen full bodies. My goodness. It's kind of dark, but check out this beauty. That's a rig, boys. Goodness. That boy's all sorts of thick. What time did you guys get here to sit this gargantuan? 3.30. Oh. We're ready for them. God bless you. <laughs> Big shout out to Wing Chasers, though. They got here. They sat to spread. All we did was show up. Let's go meet the subscribers that are here. This is one of the subscribers that booked. Come here, dude. You don't have to be shy of the camera. It's just the camera. Uh, What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Clint Spangler from uh, Ohio. How old are you? I'm 16. 16? And how old's your buddy? Um, my brother, Luke. He's 23, right? Oh, gosh. Well, that ain't bad. I'm like, did two of you 16-year-olds drive all that way? <laughs> <laughs> you drove, though. We've got the older brother here. The older brother took care of the younger brother, right? Yep. Yeah, probably your truck, too pretty much that's a dude that's a good big brother but i put on my story i'm like hey i'm gonna be with wing chasers if you guys want to hunt come on and they did all right here we go first birds to the field and it's a big giant group we're only like what are we in 10 minutes into shooting light maybe yeah. oh my goodness and they're loud Oh boy. Yeah, that's the dude behind the man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, buddy. They're getting there and they're... Come on now. Come on now. The one's coming over the back of this too. That's them. Oh, oh, oh my god. Look at this. Look. Oh, they're going to ball up for us. This group's going to ball up. Oh, yeah, baby. Holy smokes. Oh, look at him dropping right in front of you. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's a thick line. Oh my. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. The there we go. The yeah, that top block ain't gonna get low enough fast. Ooh, come back this way. Come back this way. Ooh. That was pass number one. <laughs> it's hard letting them go over two passes. That's what we've been finding this year. Yeah, yeah right here. Oh, they're, they're doing what snows do though. They look gorgeous and then they stall out, you know? Oh, yeah. Stop doing that and you sit down here. Shoot him! Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, boys! Yeah, that was nice, dude. That was good shooting, boys. Woo! We tore that flock that up. Woo, another one, another one dropping. We that tore them up. Killed 15 out of that. Think that was 15? Yeah. <laughs> That's shooting, boys. That was yummy, boys. <laughs> Load up. Load up. That was yummy. Waited on them, and they did it. That's all they were doing. That was beautiful. What do you think of that one? Yep. That was decent. It worked. That was decent. <laughs> that was a little better than decent. We'll take that again. <laughs> you like that one? That's how it's supposed to work, baby. How many do you see? Probably 15. I've seen a lot of birds dropping. 15 out of the first volley. 
Yeah. There we go, baby. Another, I'm catching them. Take that any day. I, that's worth the two hour drive, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Slow down, dude. <laughs> there we go. There's another five or six dead. That's nice. Barely got the camera on in time. Hopefully I did. Oh, what do you got there? Handfuls of happiness? A couple gray ones. Ooh, got some young birds. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's a good Clifford. Old Clifford here. He's a good boy. How old is Clifford? He's three, almost four. He's been, man, he's spent a lot. He's spent the last two seasons in Canada. Yeah, he's picked up a few birds. Yeah. Wonder how many birds old Clifford's picked up just this season, if you had a guess. What's a wild, a wild guess? Pushing 2,000 probably. That's crazy. Yeah. By one dog. Yep. yep. Hunting every day. That's a good cliff. It's crazy the amount of miles and the amount of work that one dog, one guide dog, actually does in one season. Oh boy. Come on. They working, boys. Ooh, they're getting lower. Look at this pass, Colby. Get away from them. Yeah, they need to separate. Shoot them, just the white ones. I shot twice more. Everybody was too scared. Yeah. <laughs> there was some candidates mixed in, so everybody did good. Just shoot what you can, and then they would turn and dip their shoulder to get out of there. And it's uh, just got to be careful. So. Good job, everybody. Paying attention to what you're shooting. That was good. Well, like I said earlier, this was, is, was, yesterday, a 50K feed that old Colby found. Yes, sir. 50,000 white. A lot of spin Insane. Going right you can tell because, I mean, it's just big group after big group. Here we go. We're gonna about to shoot again here. Oh, in front, boys. Get ready. Oh, we're going to wreck this group. Yep, yep, yep. Turn, 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 turn. Ah. Might have to wait. So, no, no, look at them. They're doing it. It's a... Snow geese are so weary. If you let them pass again, I mean, it's it gets. They can they can dip out on you quick. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. They square up at all. Kill them! There we go. Beautiful boys. That's another ten. Yeah! Oh, get this single flying if he comes this way. Left side, somebody kill him. On left, the left side, kill that bird. He's landing. Okay, he's a boy now. He, oh, he dead. That boy dead. <laughs> well, we Cliff, one in the waterway. Clifford might retrieve a hundred more birds today. I hope so. We're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> we're, we're chipping away at him. How many guns we got in the blind today? 12? 12 out of 12. So, at this rate, what we're doing right now, it is, it is, I'm not going to try to jinx this. I'm just saying that if this keeps up, we might have us a 100 bird day, boys. And like I said, Clifford, isn't that incredible? That many retrieves in one season. That right there is a guide dog. Guide dogs, they don't get a break. Just like the guides themselves, they don't get a break. Just want to enlighten you guys and bring you guys into the guide world because it's a lot of work. Not only for the owners, for the guides, for the dogs, for the equipment. It's insane. And I'll tell you what, Wing Chasers does one heck of a job, especially during conservation season. Conservation's tough. There you go, Cliff. He don't know about human food. Look at him. He don't like almonds. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whole flock of laughing blues up front. Yeah. Clifford, you got treats coming. 
Oh, we missed. Where'd it go, Cliff? I'll help you out, buddy. Where'd it go? You caught the last one. Your accuracy was just a little off this time, buddy. Oh, there we go. There you go, man. Good boy. Clifford is the only dog today. We're going to make today's video about Clifford because this dog, if we could only imagine retrieving 2,000 birds in four months, that's a lot. All right, redo, Clifford. He's ready. Oh, oh yeah. buckets. Well, it has slowed down a bit. I figured I'd show you what's going on. Four A frames looking mighty fine, and this is the distance to the uh, to the spread. I always have a lot of comments like Bobby, what's the distance that you sit out of the of the spread? And it's about 15. I'd say right at 15 yards today. And this is the operation. Beautiful. Look at all the full bodies. They did a lot of work today. Clones. They stretch all the way over there. We got Canada's right above us here. Let's see how close they get. Hey, buddy. But the spread looks gorgeous, I'm telling you. Let's go check out the rotary. 60 dozen full bodies, boys. I mean, this is the biggest full body spread I've ever sat out for snows. Got the vortex looking mighty fine. Look at that. Good looking. Good looking spread today. Got the snows down low e collar. They did it right. Beautiful. The the volleys that did it this morning, man, they ate it up. That's how it goes with snow goose hunting a lot of times. That dim low light first in the morning. That's when you get your best reaction when them birds come right off the roost, right off the water to the field. You know what I mean? Because now we're fighting a massive feed about. I would guess it to be two to three miles southwest of us. So, you know how it goes. That many birds, they're going to go somewhere near you. And once that happens and once that starts, fighting life feeds is hard. You all know I preach that all the time. But like I said, if you guys want to get in Kansas for conservation hunting, put on the tubes, no limits, e-collars, get a hold of Wing Chaser. They do one heck of a job, heck of an operation beautiful lodge reasonable prices and great guides i'm telling you old cliff look at him old cliff like i said earlier he don't get too excited about much but when it comes to them adult birds whew, got some good looking ones yeah, there dude sure did. old clifton just stay back dude look at him he's like oh dude can i have some more oh this is jordan's good old deer summer sausage right here oh yeah Colby, what up? Big old Thank you. chunker, yeah, buddy. Oh, that's gonna be some good stuff right here, boys. Well, Hi. Jordan's doing the usual, feeding Snack. everybody. Literally just feeding everybody. <laughs> Jeez. Yup. He asked him. He was like, "Are you the snack guy?" And he was like, "Do you watch my channel?" I mean, I think uh, we've had uh, three different styles of meat. Uh, we've had what all have we had we had four sticks four. hot jerky now summer sausage now we had two kinds of clifford. Uh, cliff wants oh some cliff more. wants some no oh, look at him he says dude i didn't mean to leave you out but yeah look oh there you go. cliff good boy yeah. that's a good calm dog right there that's oh boy. clifford you're just a good old calm dog Well, we're picking up here, and it's an operation. 60 dozen snow goose full bodies. You can imagine, with the more manpower, the easier, the faster it goes. But the old seed sack trick, like years ago I said, the seed sack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's, that's seven seed sacks of snow goose decoys? You betcha. Wow. Gotta go big. That's a first. What's a that? Dive bomb bag full of e collars. We got so many of them, we gotta put them in a bag. Yeah, I, what, you run two or three today? We run two snows down low e collars, four speakers, four speakers per collar, and it does a job, as you can tell. 60 dozen decoys, two to three e collars. You can do some work in a hurry. Well, here we go. 27 total today. Not a bad Kansas conservation hunt. 
that was the last hunt. That was the last hunt. I wish I would have got some more shot cam footage. Uh, I didn't do too good filming with the shot cam that day. I don't know what it was, but that dog. I'm telling you what, Colby's dog is, uh, what was he, two to three years old. And this last season, Colby guided all the way from up north Canada through September, all the way through snow goose hunting through this last month. And that dog, minimum, has picked up 2,000 birds. How amazing is that? One dog, uh, I'm sure Fred, I was actually thinking, I'm sure I was like, I'm sure Fred with like pigeons, ducks, geese, all the trips we've done, man, he's had to have picked up. I'd be hard pressed to guess. I wish I would have kept track of that. Looking back, I really wish I would have kept track of that. Uh, but he's for sure retrieved well over 500 waterfowl this season. I mean, it could be a thousand uh, with pigeons and everything way over a thousand birds. I guarantee it. <sighs> but 2019 through 2020 season is over. 2020, 2021 is going to be epic, y'all. I'm telling you right now, with the lodge going up, all the clients booking, uh, there's going to be a lot of awesome content coming y'all's way. I hope y'all are ready for that. I hope y'all are ready for some new content during the off season here. We are getting back to the Myth Buster gun videos. The shotgun videos, we're getting back into those. So if you have any ideas for those, drop a comment down below. A lot of you have been helping me out already. We're going to start pumping them out. But like I said earlier, big shout out to Primal Urge Foods. Check that out. All that comes in one box. That is one box that you can save 25% off using code BGSAVE25. I will link Primal Urge Foods down in the description below. Big shout out to them for sponsoring this video yet again. Awesome companies like them help us YouTubers keep on a trucking. Especially when it's hard enough in the hunting industry here here on YouTube you know that they they don't they don't really like hunting and, and killing so thank you primal urge foods uh big 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 ups to everybody for being safe out there being smart staying at home i will be pumping out videos for y'all i'm telling you right now we got a lot of awesome content coming uh at least four to five videos that i have already filmed coming y'all's way i'm doing my best to keep y'all entertained out here. Uh, I know a lot of us, I'm stuck at home with nothing to do now. So I'm right in the same boat, believe me. But subscribe if you haven't, hit that little notification bell down there cause it'll notify you when these juicy videos hit the floor running, so. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real